be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics. We're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you go ahead, like, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. Okay. So in today's video, what I wanted to talk about is the process that I use to um, basically upload my beats to BeatStars and YouTube. Okay. BeatStars and YouTube. So I have this beat right here. Um, this to be transparent i already went ahead and uploaded it but i'm just going to still show you the process of what i use to do it um basically what i'll do is once the beat is finished i'll i'm going to do two different versions of the beat okay first version what i'm going to do is i usually push command b and what that does is pulls up bounce and i will just basically only bounce down a wave version of the beat and so i'll come over here make sure the file format says wave make sure the resolution is 24 bit and I make sure the sample rate is actually 48 and after do after I do that I leave normalize off and I click on OK from there it's pretty simple I just I go to a specific place on my computer um, I have new beats 2020 there and I just pretty much bounce it down from there okay I'll just click on bounce and it will bounce down um, from there after I do that version of the beat I push command shift and E and what that does is pulls it open uh, an option so you can track out your beats and so what I do is I create a new folder I actually already did on this beat it's called trap but like if I was gonna do this one over again I'll just create a new folder down here and I would put the beat name first and I'll put what uh, what it is which is track outs and then I put the BPM which is 160 um, and I can also push like produced by myself like ever J alright and then once I have that folder I come down here and I make sure that that pattern and this is how I do it in logic if so if you have FL studios or some other you know doll then it's gonna be a little bit different but this is logic um, what I do is I move this around here. I go from, you know, push this right here, custom right here, and then track name. And so I just put the beat name right here and I put a dash there and a space. And what that's going to do is you can kind of see right here is my beat is going to be like have all the track names and then you'll have the name of the actual beat. So, like, say if any of the files get lost, all I have to do is put the, the name of the beat and all of those track file names will pull up. Um, I do 24 bit, I do wave file, and then I leave all this other stuff alone. Um, as far as normalize, I say overload protection only. That's all I have on it. And then pretty much I push export. Now, as you can see right here, I already exported the beat, so I'm not gonna do that. But once I have that all ready to go, I then go to BeatStars. So I'm gonna go over here to BeatStars. It's my BeatStar account. Um, I go to tracks. All right, and as you can see, I already uploaded, but I'm gonna act like I didn't. I just go over here to this plus sign, and then I put in the name of the beat. So the beat name is called Trap. And for my tags, I pretty much just do like depending on if it's one artist or two artists and different things like that let's just say if it's one artist so right now I'm focused on doing Drake type beats so what I do is I do the name of the artist and then I do two moods of of the beat or two vibes if you want if you will okay so like this beat is a pretty hard beat so I put hard and like it you know let's say it's melodic I might put like melodic okay and it could be whatever um, I'll come down here and um, I put the genre. I usually sometimes if, if I can't like really identify what's the subgenre, I just put it as none. And then I'll I'll select the moves here. So, so let's say it's an angry, let's say that it's bouncy, you know what I'm saying? And these actually what you could do is these same moves would be what you would put right here. So sometimes you can always put those right there, but for this example I didn't. Then I put the BPM, which is 160. And from there, um, it's just gonna be a matter of like up uploading the uh, files. So I go here to my device, 
choose files and then I'm just gonna find the actual uh, beat on my computer and upload it so it's really that simple I'll come over here I have a like there you go new beats and the beat is called trap and so I will go right here upload it once it's done you know I push publish I also go here and do the track stems now something special when it comes to the track stems you want to make sure um, that you zip the folder okay before you do the track stems and upload it there so let me show you what I'm talking about by that if you're new to zipping stuff um, let's see here trap 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 there you go so I'm gonna move that to the trash so say if I was gonna zip this folder all I would do is click right click on it and I'll go down to compress click and then click that and then it will compress the folder into a zip file okay and that's how I'm gonna upload my track outs okay so as you can see it's ready to go and all I would do is just push publish alright now since this is just a draft I just wanted to kind of give you um, you know overview I'm not gonna actually publish this but you would do the same deal here now I already have this already uploaded so I'll just select it just so you can see how it looks and you'll say got it and then you just publish it alright so we're gonna pretend that it's already up there and, and ready to go um, you know you look right here now you got it. my bad you got this beat right here okay so after I do that now it's time to upload it to YouTube um, so how I upload it to YouTube is I come to the actual beat and I click on this option right here where it says download this little down arrow and I always go down to this download beat stars tagged mp3 so I click there and then the beat is going to go ahead and go onto my computer then what I'll do is I'll show in finder and I'll click it once and then name it and I can say like produced by ever J not really important but it's just so I can find it and I'll find the beat and drag it over here to the desktop all right once it's on the desktop the next thing to do is to find a thumbnail and what I'll do usually with the thumbnail is I'm just looking for a kind of a clear image and um, I use something called Canva so like what I'll do is I'll come over here to create a design and go to you can type in like YouTube thumbnail right here and go to YouTube thumbnail it already has the dimensions and everything that you need and I will come over here bring that down to 50 just so you can kind of see it and then you're just gonna go ahead and find like a dope Drake image so let's push Drake in right here we'll go to images on Google and um, this is actually the, the, the image that I was gonna go for so I might go ahead and make a new thumbnail with that and I just go ahead and right click it and then go to save image as and then just put it on my desktop save it and then so we have uh, Canva open I'm just gonna go here and then go back to my image and just drag it right over here like that and this I'm gonna resize it now you can do anything special to it if you want to like you can come over here and adjust it you know take the saturation out make it gray you know what I mean you can come over here to effects and do some fun stuff like that but I kinda keep it simple I might either um, keep it just like this or I might make it gray for these purposes I might just go ahead and turn up to turn this up just like this Just gray out just a little bit like that All right and I can even make this bigger if I wanted to just you know just doing a thumbnail so we'll, we'll go with this as a thumbnail once I had a thumbnail I'm just gonna basically put the name of the uh, beat and put Drake type beat in front of it or whatever artist name you're gonna do Drake type beat and I'll say trap and we could just put free before it like that 
from there I'm just gonna go ahead and click on download right here make sure it's a PNG you can do a JPEG whatever but I just keep it as PNG Press download and then now we have the thumbnail I go to show in finder and I'm just gonna take that and drag it to my desktop the reason why I drag it to the desktop is easier to find the files that way and then from there what I do is I just go to iMovie and I just go to create new I go to movie and I go to import media and since it's right there on the desktop that's where I can easily find everything so I got my my uh, thumbnail there boom and then I'm gonna come over here to this arrow and then get the beat so the beats called trap and bam now we got the beat in so I'll just drag it in there drag it like that and then I'll just take this and drag it there and then just drag it out like this to the end of the beat and I just go to transitions and go to fade to black bam you know what I'm saying just to make it simple and this is pretty much just gonna do this okay once I'm ready to go ahead and export this all I'm gonna do is go up here to the top right and it's gonna say share and then I put that and then export file give it a name free Drake type beat trap and it'll go right here and then I would export it from there okay so um, I already exported so I'm not going to export it twice once I go do that then what I'll do is go to YouTube and you can see I already uploaded it but and I don't have crazy views but you know they're slowly growing I have this one track that did almost 1500 within the last you know couple of weeks or whatever so I'm growing I'm you know I'm, I'm growing this page but you know this is just uh, to help people who are just brand new to uh, uploading the beats to YouTube and BeatStar so then I'll go to create upload videos I will select files and then I'm just gonna find my beat okay so like I already again did this so <clears throat> there's my video and then you basically will open it and it's gonna start uploading to YouTube now I have a template in here but you know you can do this in multiple different ways you could just put um, different bullet points and put your um, you know the direct link to your beat put a direct link to you know your YouTube I mean you know different different things like your email stuff like that different people do it different ways I have some tags in here I actually kinda mimic this from another producer something that you can easily do as well but then I just go ahead and type in uh, free Drake type beat and then I'll put trap and you wanna you know mimic that in here too And then I'll scroll down and I'll upload a thumbnail. Remember, we already have the thumbnail, so you just go to the thumbnail. It's on your desktop. Boom, upload it. All right. You see that there. You can add it to a playlist. I usually been putting in my like a Drake type beat playlist, so I put it in there. I'm not gonna do that right now since this is like you know demonstration. And then all I'm going to do from here is um, put some tags in. So now what I do for the tags is I'll start off with the um, the type beat I'm trying to do. So Drake type beat. And uh, what you could do is you can go to something called vidIQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I already have the video. But I'm gonna show you what I do in did vid IQ. I'm so we'll get a new tab going. I'll type in vid. There we go, vid IQ. 
I'm gonna log in. And essentially what I do is um, I'll just type in Drake type beat right there. And when I do that, I can either look at what the you know competitors are doing, I can find you know different keywords from there, or essentially what I'm looking for is like low competition keywords with high search volume. So I would do this one, like Drake Type B, as you can see, it has high search volume, low competition, and then I would just look for all the other ones that's low competition, high search volume. So I'll do this one, this one, this one. You can maybe, maybe, may or may not do this one. It has only 3,000, but um, this is medium. You know, I could still throw that in there. But you essentially what you really want to do is just do low. At least, at least this is what I've been doing. You know what I mean? Try to do the ones with low and high uh, search volume that are related to the actual beat. Um, so, like, for instance, you don't want to do sample type beat if it's not a sample type beat. But let's just say this beat is a sample type beat. You put that in there kind of go through that process and again keep in mind you know i'm still new to this as well but i'm definitely a lot a lot farther than you know some people who are brand new to it so um but you would just do that let's say we get to like 20 tags or whatever you can also come over here and look at other producers what they put in there so like for instance this guy seeds you can click on his beat uh, just my bad you can kind of see what what tags he has in there for some reason it's not like pulling up but new normally you can pull it up and then it will show you the tags so i don't know why what what was taking so long but anyway once you get your tags you can copy the tags and then go to the beat and then uh post the tags in there and you're good to go so i'll just show you in this one go down here Come on, things are running a little slow. I don't know why. And you just post it in here. You have a limit of uh, 500 tags you can do. And so then what I do is I post all the tags in there. After I do that, I copy the tags and then I put them in my description. And from there, you're pretty much good to go. The only other thing that I do do is I come over here and go to the actual video and then I share it and I share it, um, you know, create a post there and then I share it on Facebook in different groups. So like I'll go here and go to different groups and share it in there. So rappers looking for beats and I'll just say a little phrase and then share it. So that simple, man, that's pretty much my process of what I've been doing to upload my beats um, to beat stars and YouTube. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have questions or you have comments or suggestions, even I'm open to all of that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace.